If there's one cosmic object that's sending the entire scientific community into a frenzy, it's Umiwamiwa. From the moment it appeared on our radar, it sparked a lot of interest, and over the years, as scientists uncover intriguing details about this strange object, it has become one of the most discussed and studied objects in the universe. But until the James Webb Telescope came along, we didn't have the right technology to reveal it. How did James Webb manage to unravel Umiwamiwa, even though he was so far away? Where is Umiwamiwa now? What new facts did scientists learn about Umiwamiwa from this new photo? Join us in this video to learn how the James Webb Telescope revealed the real image of Umiwamiwa for the first time. Umiwamiwa was the first object to enter the solar system from space. Scientists initially thought it was just an asteroid floating in space, but its strange appearance suggested otherwise. Asteroids are often spherical or irregularly shaped, and their shape largely depends on their geological makeup. However, Umiwamiwa had a unique cigar shape and did not move violently. Instead, since the cosmic phenomenon first entered the vicinity of our solar system, it has seemed to glide through space at a tempting speed. Astronomers thought it was too fast for an asteroid. Asteroids orbit the sun like planets, but Umiwamiwa didn't appear to be connected to the sun. There seemed to be a certain way. It's been decades since humans began exploring space, and no cosmic object behaves like Umiwamiwa. The fact that it came from interstellar space made it even more suspicious. Umiwamiwa presented scientists with a rare opportunity, which they immediately seized. This visitor was first sighted on October 19, 2017. It was discovered by Robert Wellick of the Haleakala Observatory using the PanSTARRS telescope. When this strange object began to flash like a beacon on PanSTARRS radar, the telescope team realized it was something out of our realm, meaning a messenger from afar. The discovery of Umiwamiwa was so monumental that the team quickly shared this discovery with the public and it was a moving moment. Humanity's first encounter with extraterrestrial life. But it was also a terrifying moment. Because, for some strange reason, this interstellar visitor seemed to be heading straight for Earth. You can imagine the excitement that Umiwamiwa caused when it was first discovered. There are several conspiracy theories circulating about his nature and mission on Earth. Some thought it was an asteroid about to hit our planet, others thought it was a camouflaged alien craft. Some astronomers speculated that it was a comet because of its incredible speed after failing to prove it was an asteroid. But this theory also turned out to be false, as Umiwamiwa had neither a cometary tail nor gas. The extraterrestrial spacecraft theory began circulating on September 9, 2017, when it was discovered that Umiwamiwa accelerated to 196,000 miles per hour as it approached the sun. The object appeared to be trying to escape the searing heat of the sun. Furthermore, it maneuvered suspiciously around the sun, as if it had a mind of its own. And even more curious was the fact that the sun's heat seemed to have no effect. A famous astronomer supported this extraterrestrial theory, postulating that the object was powered by solar radiation rather than ordinary fuel. Umiwamiwa is believed to have been built by an alien civilization far more advanced than our own, and they used camouflage mechanisms to make it look like cosmic rock. It took a long time for scientists to disprove the myth that Umiwamiwa was an extraterrestrial spacecraft. The amazing space visitor is just an ejected piece from another solar system, a distant galaxy. Scientists believe that the strange acceleration was caused by the release of hydrogen gas from hydrogen-rich bodies. It warmed up as it got closer to the sun, releasing trapped hydrogen to fuel it. So it turned out to be just a single asteroid that came from an ancient interstellar planet. Umiwamiwa wasn't from around here, so it didn't behave like a comet or asteroid in our solar system. But it wasn't just the unraveling of this mystery that most interested scientists, but also the actual discovery of Umiwamiwa thanks to the James Webb Telescope. Getting a real image of Umiwamiwa was very important, and the James Webb Telescope helped show a real image of this cosmic wonder. The remarkable James Webb Space Telescope has contributed to the study of interstellar space objects since its launch. One of the telescope's extraordinary abilities is its ability to collect and analyze infrared light. Infrared is important to astronomy because it reveals hidden details in images, making the study of celestial bodies more rewarding for astronomers. Infrared wavelengths make it easy to see the first stars and galaxies that formed after the Big Bang. In addition, the James Webb Telescope is equipped with state-of-the-art instruments that can be used to observe objects that are too old or too distant for ordinary telescopes. The James Webb Telescope's high-resolution, high-sensitivity instruments have an unrivaled ability to view even the faintest space objects and galaxies in sharp detail. 
This extraordinary sensitivity and capability gives scientists a unique opportunity to comfortably explore the mysteries of the universe's interstellar bodies. As we all know, interstellar space is the space outside our solar system and is home to some of the most fascinating things we've encountered in space over the years, from black holes to monster galaxies. We've discovered a lot in interstellar space, and there's still a lot to discover. From Earth, it is almost impossible to study the composition of interstellar space in detail to decipher its chemical composition and nature. Until now, space probes like Voyager 1 have been the only source of information about the mysteries of interstellar space. Thanks to the James Webb Telescope, we can now see it in more detail from Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope's advanced series of infrared cameras bring precision to images of interstellar objects. With its keen eye, this telescope can reveal intricate details and paint vivid pictures of the beautiful celestial objects in interstellar space that invade our observation range. Another fascinating thing about James Webb is that if one photo doesn't give you the image you want, you can stitch hundreds or even thousands of photos together to create a very detailed image with all the details you need. Image Those paying attention may have noticed an increase in the number of space discoveries since the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. Because this gigantic tool can capture the faintest and darkest aspects of the universe and its elusive objects. The James Webb Telescope has made it easier for scientists to conduct groundbreaking research and unlock the mysteries hidden deep within the universe. But at the same time, it expands the frontiers of space exploration, allowing scientists to peer into the depths of space at scales and wavelengths never before possible. That's why discoveries like ghost galaxies and the Southern Ring Nebula are popping up with increasing frequency. This great achievement in space has opened up a world of possibilities that will allow us to bring our knowledge and understanding of the universe to the forefront. The James Webb Telescope has proven to be the biggest scientific discovery yet in space exploration, but the value of other important instruments like the PanSTARRS Telescope cannot be ignored. After all, it was the PanSTARRS Telescope that first discovered Oumuamua. James Webb was only used for further research on Oumuamua as he was best suited for that purpose. The PanSTARRS telescope is located atop Haleakala on the beautiful island of Maui, Hawaii. This telescope is the star of the ambitious PanSTARRS project. The PanSTARRS project is a collaborative effort of major agencies whose main objective is to monitor the sky for strange astronomical phenomena, especially those that can cause impactful events. The PanSTARRS telescope is part of a sophisticated system designed for wide-field astronomical imaging. Its main task is to conduct a comprehensive study of the night sky and detect celestial bodies in the wavelength range of light. The telescope works tirelessly and also performs close inspections to discover celestial bodies that could pose a potential threat to Earth. PanSTARRS uses proprietary PS1 IPP image processing technology to manage the large amounts of data collected during these surveys. IPP is state-of-the-art software that enables the space telescope to automatically process and analyze large amounts of observational data. As a result, astronomers can use advanced algorithms and computational techniques to unlock the mysteries hidden in the thousands of celestial images taken by PanSTARRS. A notable feature of the PanSTARRS telescope is its important role in investigating near-Earth objects. It is part of the PanSTARRS project, which aims to scan the entire sky for near-Earth objects that appear to be on a collision course with Earth. Thus Oumuamua was discovered. As you know, PanSTARRS weren't exactly looking for Oumuamua, they just found him while they were working. Given the nature of the PanSTARRS study, researchers initially thought that Oumuamua was an asteroid headed for Earth. After all, most space objects hurtling through our solar system are asteroids, and Oumuamua looked like one from the outside. But when we started collecting and analyzing data, we discovered that this mysterious interstellar traveler was no ordinary asteroid and contradicted all known and established patterns of asteroids in space. For example, it could suddenly change its orbit in space. Oumuamua, which initially appeared to be about to hit Earth, suddenly retreated as if it had been spotted. Things changed when scientists realized that Oumuamua was moving faster. If we don't act quickly, this object will slip away without us knowing. The clock was ticking when researchers found they had just 11 days to learn as much as they could about this strange visitor before he finally left. PanSTARRS researchers realized that any delay could ruin humanity's only chance of understanding the first interstellar visitors. So they turned to a higher power, NASA, for help. NASA soon brought a big space weapon to solve the mystery of Oumuamua. They relied on large telescopes that could accurately measure the dimensions of objects and discern their color and brightness. Every detail of Oumuamua's surface and structure is of extreme importance, so NASA was careful not to miss even the smallest detail. 
Not having time to analyze all the data, NASA scientists focused on collecting as much data as possible. That way, you can process and study them later. We all knew that once Oumuamua left the solar system, there might not be another way to get data from him, and they were right. Since Oumuamua came out, there is no way to contact her or receive signals from her. Also, we haven't seen many other interstellar objects in our universe since Oumuamua. The only object other than Oumuamua that astronomers have discovered is Comet Borisov. Fortunately, we collected a lot of data before Oumuamua left our room. But, ironically, the more scientists analyzed the data, the more confused they became. Instead of getting answers, scientists were increasingly faced with questions about Oumuamua. Its unique properties and intriguing behavior continued to baffle researchers. It was neither an asteroid, nor a comet, nor a planet. Astronomers were used to the spherical or irregular shapes of rocks in space. These unique rock formations are usually caused by gravity. Inside a space object, atoms are attracted by a unique gravitational force that keeps them compact and spherical. However, difficult spatial conditions and collisions with debris also affect the object's shape. Because of this, asteroids often have irregular shapes. Equally surprising was the impressive size of this interstellar visitor. It had a radius of about 200 meters and a length of about 10 times its width. These proportions are unusual for our solar system, making Oumuamua an amazing space object. Further analysis revealed that the object was 115 by 111 by 19 meters. A later and even more interesting discovery was that Oumuamua was not shaped like a cigar, but rather like a pancake. This was initially controversial, but by the time it came to light, the Oumuamua cigar shape had already gained wide acceptance around the world. But it turns out it was all a matter of perception. When viewed from the side, Oumuamua looks like a cigar, but when viewed from above, it looks like a pancake. To add to the confusion, Oumuamua displayed a distinct reddish hue. The reddish hue of a space object usually indicates that it is in the outer regions of the solar system. In these areas, ambient dust surrounds the object and appears red. But, as you can see, Oumuamua was not present in these regions, and according to the observations of scientists, no traces of dust were found. The object is composed entirely of rock and metal and does not contain water, ice or other common elements found in celestial bodies. What's more, the giant space cicada zipped through the solar system at a staggering 85,700 miles per hour, a speed that fluctuated during its journey. Scientists have noticed that the sun's gravitational pull pulls this object towards it, but it appears that a second invisible force is actively pushing and directing it. Even today, most people believe that this interstellar object was an extraterrestrial probe. If Oumuamua was indeed an extraterrestrial probe, it may have been controlled from within. We'll never know, you know, no matter how hard scientists tried, they never fully understood why Oumuamua worked the way it did. As mentioned earlier, the commonly accepted theory is that hydrogen gas was released to travel through the solar system, but there are still some holes in this theory. But a careful analysis of Oumuamua's speed and trajectory could solve the mystery of where Oumuamua came from. Scientists have traced the origin of Oumuamua near the star Vega. Vega is the same star as the Sun in interstellar space, but 57 times brighter than the Sun astronomers call it the brightest star in the Northern Hemisphere constellation Lyra. Estimated to be around 455 million years old, the star is nearly halfway through its life on the main sequence. It will then become a red giant star like Betelgeuse. Astronomers have tracked Oumuamua to Vega, but the length of its interstellar journey suggests Oumuamua was well ahead of Vega when it headed for our planet. In other words, this interstellar visitor had a head start about 300,000 years ago, moving towards our solar system at an average speed of 59,000 miles per hour. Scientists believe that the star Vega itself may not have existed in the region when Oumuamua passed by. This means that Oumuamua didn't come from Vega, it just passed to Vega a long time ago. This object is much older than Vega. The actual origin is currently unconfirmed and the search continues. However, one study presents an intriguing and highly likely hypothesis. This suggests that Oumuamua is debris from a much larger celestial body, probably a star or planet, millions of years ago. A catastrophic event could have destroyed the parent star, leading to its formation. This theory offers a plausible explanation for Oumuamua's extraordinary properties. Another plausible study, published in Nature Astronomy, theorizes that Oumuamua may have formed under the influence of tidal forces similar to those experienced by Earth's oceans. But if Oumuamua still existed in our solar system, the search for its secrets might have been more fruitful.
Sadly, he left the solar system in January 2019 and headed for the distant constellation of Pegasus. Surprisingly, just like our solar system, it accelerated away from Earth until it completely disappeared from view. It continued to hover at varying speeds, making it difficult for observers to track how it moved. Umuamua is faster than any rocket or spacecraft we currently have. Now it's up to the James Webb Space Telescope to collect data on this mysterious visitor from ancient space. If there is a scientific tool that can be used to track and monitor Oumuamua, it is JWST. The fact that this telescope has pushed the boundaries of space exploration by capturing information 28 billion light-years from Earth makes it well-equipped to collect data from the constellation of Pegasus, which proves that it is only 700 light-years from Earth. But given Oumuamua's incredible speed, it may be out of reach for the James Webb Telescope. What do you think? Will the James Webb Space Telescope be able to make history once again and completely unravel the mystery of Oumuamua? Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching another episode of CZ Science. While you're here, be sure to click through the on-screen videos to see more high-quality content.